Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install PHP 5.2.8. Uh, if you've not downloaded this installer, you need to do so now before proceeding. Okay, we'll start by launching it. Click Next, Accept. We're going to change this to our Apache directory and create a new folder called PHP and we'll install it in that folder we'll go ahead and configure it for Apache 2.2 then uh, now we need to show it where the uh, configuration directory is for Apache which that is located right there alright and then click next all right. Next, we want to uh, take and click on that, and that will install all these extensions, which we will need later. And we'll go ahead and install these as well, which basically is just a uh, pair and PHP manual. And then we'll click. Uh, go ahead and double check. Let's see, we don't need that, so we'll click next after that, and then we'll click install. okay after that PHP should be installed now there's still a problem if we take in we're gonna we're gonna open Apache monitor and then we're gonna restart Apache alright after it restarts we're gonna take a look at uh, we'll go to my computer C Apache and we're gonna go to logs and then we're going to look at error log and if you noticed in this error log there's quite a few of these extensions here that have a problem so what we're going to do to fix that problem is we're going to minimize this and then we're going to go to uh, you can either copy these from this folder or if you downloaded my PHP fix which actually will also fix another error that you'll run into in uh, PHP my admin you can take and just select all of these library files in here we'll exclude the readme.txt and then we're going to take and copy these and then we're going to go to my computer and C drive Windows and then uh, find your system 32 folder which is right here and then we're going to just take and paste these in uh, in this directory alright and it should have added those next we need to go to uh, PHP my right here in our PHP folder we need to open up php.ini I'm going to edit with a notepad plus plus and then we need to go down here to uh, to these extensions and we're looking for one particular some in particular we're looking for uh, hold on we'll go ahead and close this for a second minimize this and we're going to restart Apache and see which ones still don't work okay now we're going to take another look at that uh, that error log again by going to uh, logs and error and we scroll down and now you see there's far less of them so now that we, we've got this here our error log open we're going to take and adjust this so we can uh, have that off to one side and then we're going to open up our uh, php.ini file and we're going to scroll down until we find these alright and this is one of them and we're going to put a, com a comma right there or a colon alright and then we're going to find the next one we'll see we're going to comment it out this one right below it 
All right, and then SQ this one here. Oh, no, it's uh, SQLite external. And then the last one is the uh, SYS base, which is right here. And comment that out. All right, and that should fix those. Now, I don't know what those uh, modules are for, and I have not found out how to, uh, how to fix those yet. So we're going to just close this and close the error log, and now we're going to restart Apache one more time to double check. And we're going to take another look at this error log. All right, and there we go. You notice that there are no errors now. And I don't know what this uh, module is that it's referring to. I don't know what those are. Don't know what difference it makes. So we'll just skip that. But anyways, that should uh, that should figure. You should have PHP five installed correctly and now your next step will be of course to install mysql and php my admin and that's it